All right, what's going on, everybody? So I um, just want to do this video on the um, what I would call sort of the war between God and tech. So, you know, some people will say technology is just evil, period, like air conditioners, all this stuff is evil. They might be right. You know, I've never really gotten into, you know, that kind of stuff deep with God. How does he feel about electricity and indoor plumbing? Is that stuff bad? You know, I'm not prepared to call all technology evil, but it does seem pretty clear we're we're reaching this point where God and or I should say rather God and uh, tech are going to be at odds. So I would say, you know, at a minimum, we've reached the point like cross the threshold really of reasonable technology so when i say reasonable technology i'm thinking of like a car cell phone um 4k tv well i don't have a 4k i don't have a tv but there used to be a tv up there 4k tv i mean all that different type of stuff and uh, that stuff all seems to fall into the ballpark of reasonable technology but when we start talking about stuff like self-driving cars, uh, robots replacing humans in the workforce, neural implants, um, all this stuff that is, that is already here, even things like gene editing technology, it's not being used a lot, or at least not publicly, but it's already here. Um, all that different type of stuff to me feels like we've crossed a threshold, like we've entered into the realm of too far, of unreasonable technology, right? And so <clears throat> what's going to come as all this stuff just continues to come, self-driving cars, gene editing technology, uh, beyond neural links, I mean, just particular genetic enhancements or, uh, you know, just a, a, a continuing fusion of man and machine transhumanism is God and tech are going to become more and more at odds and it's going to become more and more divisive. And the more that you opt into the tech side, the more you opt into Satan's side, because the mark of the beast is not here. The mark of the beast, I think, is a decent ways off. But it's no question to me, uh, in my mind, I should say, that it's going to be tech driven, that, that the mark of the beast, whatever it is, it's not going to just be a mark. It's not going to just be a choice. It's going to be you <clears throat> opting into a system. It's going to be you opting into, uh, you know, basically a futuristic system. You know, I don't know exactly what it's going to consist of could consist of virtual reality type stuff. I mean, people, Google execs and stuff have talked about people being able to upload their, um, their consciousness into a computer and people from Google and other venues have talked about being able to live forever, all this different stuff. So whatever the mark of the beast is, it is going to contain or, or link you up with high technology. Like I said, is high technology virtual reality? Is it some sort of man machine hybrid that enables you to live forever? I don't know, but whatever it is, whatever the mark of the beast is, when it shows up, it's gonna be applied with technology and it's going to interface you with high technology. So the point of all this is, you know, I'm not telling you to go throw away your cell phone. Obviously I got a cell phone, I'm recording this on a cell phone. Um, but you just need to be careful as tech becomes more and more extreme, more and more impressive in ways, more and more invasive. You know, I, I would advise not to get one of those, uh, the Hey Alexa things, you know, you just don't want to get too tech driven because a lot of this tech, I mean, there's going to be tech that's going to sound really good. Right, you're gonna have like gene editing tech. We could get rid of the cancer gene. We could get rid of this gene. Hey, you're addicted to smoking. We can get rid of the smoking gene. We just send this CRISPR technology in there, and it's gonna find your your cigarette addiction uh, uh, gene, and it's gonna cut it out, and then you're gonna be good. But the problem with all that different type of stuff is it's just it's just too far. It's just too invasive, and there's gonna be a lot of lot of natural consequences. But because God doesn't like it, there's going to be a lot of supernatural consequences. And so the more people merge into this man and machine, neural Im, uh, implants, gene editing, all this different stuff, the more things are just going to get like really weird and there's going to be a lot of problems. So point of this video is as this sort of God versus tech war emerges, choose God because... That's really the only side you can choose. So 
That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Aloha. God bless.